Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Fine, and you? Fine, fine. Ready, ready. Vamos a ver. Qué calor. Ocho. July eight, right? We're about to finish. <laughs> We're about to finish the course. How many weeks are we missing? No seven. This is day number 18. So that means we're missing seven more days and we finish. Let's see. Nine people, we're missing a couple of people still. Les cuento que aquí está haciendo un calor. Tremendo. Carlita no está aquí todavía. Cuéntenos cómo está San Miguel. No, estoy en San Salvador, pero está haciendo un gran calor aquí. Por lo menos allá tenemos aire acondicionado. Y aquí no. Y aquí no hay tales de aire. No. Eso nos hace falta, el aire acondicionado. Me imagino que está terrible en San Miguel. Mm, uy, ha de estar terrible. Sí. Zacatecoluca, La Unión, San Miguel. Horrible está. Son zonas mero calurosas. Y este mi ventilador que no abunda. <ríe> no abunda. Vamos a ver, ya somos 11. Very good. Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Nice. Ana Alicia. Ana. Carlos Josué. Carlos. No. David. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Present teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer. No. Gemma Carolina. No está Gemma. Jessica Lisset. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. José Alberto. Karen. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Yes, teacher. Ok. Karen Stephanie. No, Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lisette Dayanara. Lisette Dayanara. No. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Oscar. <coughs> Oscar, Oscar. Rebeca Marcela. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace. 
present teacher. Rosalda. Present teacher. And Luis. Okay, bueno. Ahí estamos. Vamos a ver, Rodrigo, Rebeca, Oscar, Ixeta Yanara, Karen Stephanie, Jorge Albert, José Alberto, Jessica, Gemma, Elmer, Ana. No. Ok, ok. Bueno, let's. Let's start sharing. I'm going to share. Okay. Check. Uh, today, <clears throat> the topic of the unit is, or the topic of the lesson is, perfect models, right? Following the topic of the lesson plan that uh, we are going to be working or we will continue working with the uh, superlatives, right? Superlative adjectives. So check if in the platform, because I haven't, I haven't checked, if in the platform you have to work with Perfect models. I haven't seen the assignment for today. Uh, wait, okay, wait and do it until Monday because uh, today we are not going to cover perfect models. We're going to be con uh, we're going to continue talking about uh, superlatives. Vamos a ver solo así por por curiosity. I'm here. For curiosity. Okay, Elmer. I'm going to check what's the home before. Mm -hmm. 3.1 is vocabulary related to jobs. 3.3. Right. Hello, teacher. Hello. 3.3 is about superlatives. Uh, so if you have it done after today's class, you will be able to do it, right? Uh, to, uh, the next one, the one that is supposed to be for today, according to the lesson plan that I have. We got to give it superlatives. But the assignment is about perfect models. So we're going to see what we can do with that. Okay. And tomorrow you have more vocabulary to work with. Closing with Friday's homework, where you have more comparative. Okay. okay. That's. <clears throat> well, good evening, teacher. Hi. Now you know the agenda, right? For the day of the week. And well, we're going to discuss this couple of questions how difficult it is to organize the staff schedules. And uh, are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? Hey, hey, we have three new students. New, verdad? We see Anna and Oscar and Elmer. No, I said, no, we're not new teacher. Okay. Well, I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go this question. How difficult is it to organize the staff schedules? And are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? Uh, you are 14. Let me make groups of three. Okay. Groups of three, one pair. There you go. Teacher. Este. 
tell me, Karen. Karen, Karen. <laughs> Try to join, try to join the room. Okay, Ana, Jose Alfredo, Wins, try to join. Señorita Grace. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Karen is in a call right now. Oh, yes. Vamos a ver si viene Jessica. Teacher. Hola. Teacher, mire, este, fíjese que me ha caído una llamadita. Deme unos 10 minutos, quizás. Va, ok. Porfa, ahí me disculpa, pero me ha caído de emergencia. Vaya, vaya, vaya. Perdón, perdón por las chicas, las compañeras, perdón. Ah, pero ahí viene, ahí viene Jessica. Ay. Y venía o si bien ya le traigo a otro va aquí tiene ya varios para trabajar okay. sí. y cuáles eran las preguntas las compré del grupo este no de are in the manual ah ok de ya on page 20 de 20 sí 29 no 27 ok thank you Hola, teacher. Disculpe, eh, eh, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Lo que yo iba entrando, por eso le pregunté. Questions. The question of unit, page unit 27. Ajá, uh -huh. page 27. Ah. Quiero ver aquí. En How difficult is to organize staff schedule? Yeah. Y al computer es algo tool to create a effective schedule for employees. <coughs> This two question. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> For example, teacher, in my in my company, there are many schedules because <coughs> there are two projects that 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 the company is supervising. In one in one. One company has one schedule and the other company has other schedule. Uh -huh. And for example, in the same project, we have people from the two companies. Uh -huh. We have to, to schedule because the people that were in the in the construction only work seven hours a day from monday to at the same uh, okay. 11 days a row a row me dijo que es verdad seguidos 11 days in a row, row. Sí. 11 days in a row but they work only seven hours a day. Okay. And we work eight hours a day. Mm. And, and we work 11 days in a row. And the other project work 12. No. Uh, the Seven, you said, right? This, uh, 
Monday to Friday and Saturday half day all 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 week. No Sunday. no Sunday and you work Sunday, right? No, they not work Sunday. Wow. And we, yes. <laughs> and what do you do if you need a, a, somebody from construction? Uh, because uh, uh, we are working in the bypass the San Miguel. Uh -huh. And we are working in the supervising, supervising in, in, in the project are, está dividido. Is divided. Is divided in four packets. In, in only, uh, in, in only, uh, in one package, in package one, in, and we have package two and package four. In our different companies construct, constructing, 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 construyendo. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, constructing. In in each <clears throat> each company have his uh, schedule. Wow. And, and we have uh, uh, people that work for one package and other people work for other package. And you have to be watching all of them. Uh, yes. Wow. So that becomes difficult because so there is a moment when there is nobody to supervise, right? Because if they are not working. Yeah, for me, uh, will be better. Uh, was the same schedule. <laughs> exactly. If it is one project that you're working together, it would be better to have the same schedule for everybody, right? Yeah. Because I, 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 I finished to work yesterday. And the other package finish tomorrow. So these two days are not supervised then? Yes, because uh, uh, there are uh, a specific people for each project mm. with the same company. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So there is another, another group supervising them, we can say. But it's difficult, it's difficult because we, for example, this day that I, I am not in the project, uh, always they uh, call me for asking any, anything. <laughs> so you're not resting anyway? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God, imagine. So it would be better that you could be with them until the day after tomorrow, right? So you could be. Yes. In, in, uh, proximamente, como se dice? In a couple of days, you can say. In a couple of months. Uh -huh. uh, it starts the other package, uh, package three with the same project. Yes. Mm -hmm. the same so that would be nice. That would be a very nice project at the end when you finish everything. Yes, it's nice. It's, it's, it's uh, very nice, but it's difficult work with, with, uh, uh, with different schedule. <clears throat> Administ administrativamente. Administrative? Administrative is difficult. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. It is. Yeah. Hey, let's move to the second question. Organization. The schedule is. Um, 
Alright, okay. I'm plan B. Well, you have to measure meals time. No, why? Why you have to measure meals time? ¿Cómo se llama? Meals time. O sea, no era comida. Lunch time. Ah, lunch time. Yeah, lunch time. Igual a veces. En español, primero, teacher, y después no. <laughs> es que es bien largo lo que, la idea que le voy a dar. Try, try, try. Uh, <laughs> um, when the employees live far, vive lejos, mm -hmm. for a schedule of, para decir cierre, teachers, de la noche. The closing. closing. The closing. Ay, pero, en... <coughs> And for closing hours when the employees live far away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am lunch time and for close. Ah, pero que no estamos empleando las palabras. Mm -hmm. Solo una se metí. <laughs> <laughs> ah, pero cuando vive muy lejos. Bueno, vamos a ver si. de definir en qué tiempo lo van a tomar y de cuánto tiempo. Es que la estábamos esperando para hablar en inglés. Ah. For each activity. Mm. days off. Um, 
knowledge for high seasons. It's time, of, is time of vacation <laughs> for each employee. Quiero ver qué más. Y el tener en cuenta el, la, quiero ver, el límite de horas semanales, no sé cómo podría ponerlo o si contaría. El límite de horas, pero. El límite de horas con el que se debe cumplir semanalmente, el máximo. Mm. Uh -huh. Time. For hours for weekend time. Uh -huh. Week. Weekly. Semanalmente is correct, teacher. Yes, weekly. Time period. Of, period, period of time. You mean? Period of time. Quiero poner, tener el conocimiento. Entonces, le pongo que la dificultad es. Have the knowledge. Perdón. Have, have, have the knowledge. knowledge. The knowledge. 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 Uh -huh. knowledge. Y. Next topics. Employees, quítele una S y ajá. Sí, es. Fijado. Bueno, eh, por question number two. Are computers a good tool? To trade. Effective case for employees. Ayuda o sea, de... con el diseño y la redacción. Perdón. Ayuda bastante con el diseño y la redacción de la programación. ¿Qué cosa, José Alfredo? Eh, la pregunta dice, ¿son las computadoras 
una buena herramienta para crear. Yes. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y de ahí habría que poner because. Uh -huh. Sin diferentes programas. Like Excel, aún creo que eso de insertar tablas, uh -huh. se decía la página de cálculo la de cálculo spreadsheet yes there are because using a different program like Excel facilitates create a spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Of course. Okay, one more minute. A ver, a ver, everybody back. Okay. Now everybody here. Let's see, tell me. According to your experience, how difficult is it to organize staff schedules? Is it easy? Mm -hmm. We were working with Diego and David and he was telling us the story about his work. And for him, it was very difficult because he has many people in charge. So he has two. He, he is in charge of many people. He is in charge of many people. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, what did I say? <laughs> he has many people in charge. Uh, yeah. And, uh, thinking <laughs> in Spanish. Uh -huh. <laughs> in of many okay. The story was very interesting, but he, uh, that, that's the experience that he gave us. Okay, great, great. 
I was seeing Carlita's group. We were talking about that and she says that in her company, it is very difficult to organize the schedule too, right? Because they have people with different schedules. Okay, let's see the next question. Are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? What do you think? Are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? Yes, no. Hmm? Yes, teacher. The computer is a very important tool for create schedule. Why? How, how can a computer facilitate your life when you're making a schedule? Using programs like Excel mm -hmm. uh, exactly. facilitates a uh, create a um, spreadsheet uh -huh. for uh, a better organize the the activities and the time for each employees. Definitely, and like that, you do not repeat somebody, right? because Excel is going to tell you, hey, this is repeated. Okay, very good. Now, let's make a quick review of yesterday's class. Remember yesterday we were talking about comparative and superlatives that uh, we were mentioning only short adjectives, that adjectives that have one syllable, right? In some of the cases, we said you only add the R to make the comparative or the superlative, you add the ST. That um, if the adjective has a consonant, vowel consonant, you will double the consonant and then you would add ER for the comparative and EST for the superlative. Yes, we were also saying <coughs> that we use comparative adjectives to compare two things, yeah, one against two, one. But we use superlatives when we have, we compare one against two, three, or many more, right? So that's the difference between using comparative or using superlative. Now, a, a mouse, mi mouse agarra para donde quiere. We were giving some examples also, like here, my house is larger than hers. So I'm comparing my house with her house. This box is smaller than the one I lost, right? But, when I'm using the superlative, I'm comparing my house with all the, la the, the, the other houses in the neighborhood, not just with one house, but with all the rest of the houses. Mm -hmm. So I'm comparing this box with all the boxes I have seen. Then I say, this is the smallest box I have ever seen. Yes. Now, Now, so we go to, que le digo mi mouse, hace lo que quiere él. But then we have adjectives that finish in Y. When an adjective finishes in Y, it doesn't matter how many syllables it has. We change the Y to Y. And then we have EST for the superlative and ER for the comparative. Yeah. And then you have BC, BC here, and the BCS, right? 
In the case of some adjectives that have two syllables, for example, the case of simple, I'm not going to say more simple, right? You say the simpler or the simplest. This is the simplest idea I had had. So you say simplest, no more simple, or not the most simple even, right? But for all the other adjectives that are long and have more than one, more than two syllables, we are going to add more for the comparative and most for the superlative. So you have important, more important, the most important. Expensive, more expensive, the most expensive. <coughs> Any question here? Question? No question. No teacher. Okay. And there are some other adjectives that are irregular. In this case, for example, we have good. The comparative of good is better. No hay regla aquí because they are irregular, right? So they, they change completely. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Little, less, the least. Much, more, the most. Far, further, the furthest. Or farther, the farthest. Okay, these are the uh, irregular comparatives. Any question over there? No teacher. Okay, check. Today is the worst day I have had. This person is comparing one day against all the other days in his or her life, right? Comparative, you play tennis better than I do. <clears throat> this is the, le the, the least expensive, the least expensive sweater in the store. So you can say the most expensive or the least expensive, right? Um, if you use the comparative, the less, the sweater is less expensive than that one, right? That one is more expensive than this one. Now, let's go to the conversation. And after the conversation, we will go back to the chart of the superlatives, comparatives and superlatives. Okay, repeat. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? The staff is always complaining. My staff, staff is always complaining. Is always I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule. I, I use the online service so that the staff can see their schedules. That sounds like the most efficient way. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Yes, yeah. it is the best it's way to keep way your to staff keep your and staff nice and enough nice. and on time. One more time. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? Laura, Laura how, how do, do you, you keep, keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. My staff is always complaining. complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see the schedules from their phones. I use an online service so that the staff can see the schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. I bet it saves a lot of time. 
Yeah. It is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Yes, it is the best yes. way to yes. keep your staff to organized, keep organized, and organized and on time. Organized. 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 Okay, now oh. I'm going to send you to the rooms. You're going to practice this conversation and then you're going to do exercise three and four. Okay? Because they are related, right? They are all related. Let's see. Let's go. I'm going to make new groups. Passion. Uh -huh. Oui. Va, ahí está. Que me querían que Hubo de cuatro y el último solo de dos. Jeje. Qué mal dicho. Vaya, there we go. Go ahead. Remember, you will practice the conversation and then do exercise three and four. Try to join. Going to be more. Hi, good evening. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Si gusta practiquen ustedes dos. Okay. Laura. How do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Daddy. Hola. Soy usted, Gilbert y Carlos, perdón. Ok, it's ok. Eh, I'm going to start now. Ok. Eh, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? Pero. Sí, tuve miedo, pero gracias a Dios. Ya. Pasó. Gracias a Dios, aquí estamos. <ríe> aquí estamos con todo. <ríe> sí. <ríe> Vaya. ¿Quién empieza? Sí. Si quieren, empiecen ustedes dos y después voy yo. Vaya de ahí. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. Permítanme que estoy buscando la conversación. The page 27. Janet. Sí, ya voy. <laughs> sí. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. Uh -huh. That that's online the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep just your staff organized and on time. Organized. 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 
organized and on time. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? Or <laughs> Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? Nice, organized. My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. It be it safe a lot. Like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your stuff organized and on time. Okay. I work to part three and four. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Question uh -huh. number one. How does your company organize a schedule? And my work, uh, this schedule uh, is a, uh, uh, In, for delivery the, the days in the month, in every month, to deliver the report uh, monthly. Um, that is the activity, uh, activity, um, that is la, uh, only la, the schedule in my case. In my case, the boss uh, program the schedules for the each employees depend of the work that uh, is a week because I is um, the employee. Very firm. That sounds like the most efficient way. Wait. Wait, wait, sorry, wait. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to pay wait. your staff. No, way, 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 way to key to keep your Oscar. Recuerde que el inglés no se lee como se escribe. It, se, y trate de enfocarse to, en la pronunciación que le damos cuando repetimos. Uy. Ok. <coughs> ok. To key to your to keep to keep <laughs> your stop mm -hmm. organize in and in, in on time mm -hmm. okay now do you, Gilbert Oscar okay Laura how do you how do you Kill the a children, a children, a kerchu organize. My staff is arguing, complains. Okay. Diego? Hmm? I'm Laura. Yes. Okay. I, I use an online service. So that the staff can see their schedule is casual from their pumps. Thing. That. That. That so like the most edifice way I bet it say a long old time.
Laura. <risa> yes, it Laura. is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. ¿Quieres repetirlo una vez más, Oscar? Démosle, pues sí. Ok, Laura. How do you keep the... ¿Quiere? Hagamos algo. Ajá. Leo primero y usted repite después. Vamos a ir una, una línea por línea. Va. Va. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff. I use an online service so that the staff. Can see their schedule from their phone. Can, can see, see the. They, can see. Huh? Can see their schedule from their phone. Okay, can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. That sounds like the most efficient way is bed. Uh -huh. is, is I, I bet it saves a lot of time. I bet I saw a lot of time. Of, of time. Of time. Of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Yes, it is the best. Yes, it is. Yes, it. Yes, it is best. Way to keep you to keep your your staff organized in on in on time. In on time. Usted tiene el manual así impreso. Sí. Vaya así con un color de lapicero. Trate de ponerle cómo se pronuncia. Ahí sí, no. haciendo una buena programación. O sabiendo distribuir bien los did, turnos. Did you finish? <coughs> no, teacher. distribuyendo bien los eh, creo, la cantidad de personal de acuerdo a la temporada y al a qué más podría ser y el día porque me imagino que en restaurantes, no todos, pero a inicio de semana, lunes, martes, no se ha de llenar como los fines de semana y feriados. Uh -huh.
<laughs> Did you finish? Coming, coming. Okay, I guess everybody back. Okay, <clears throat> tell me. How does your company organize schedules? For volunteer? This, this is a, the, an activity that <coughs> it belongs to the coordinator. Belongs to who? It belongs to the coordinator. Okay, okay. And in your case, it is done at the beginning of the year, right? Yes, it is true. <laughs> oh, well, at the end of the previous one. Mm -hmm. Bueno, vamos a la tienda antes de que algo pase y se nos olvide. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Creo que es más rápido. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Edwin. Present teacher. Elda. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Gemma Carolina. No hay gente. Calicet. Present teacher. Jessica Calicet. Ok. Eh, José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. José Alberto. No estaba José Alberto por ahí. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. <coughs> Karen Stephanie. Carolina. Present teacher. Liseta Yanara. Liseta Yanara. Nubia. Present teacher. Osu. Present teacher. Rebeca. 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 Eh, present teacher. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Rosailda. Present teacher. Luis. Bash. Ok. Bueno. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to check again. Well, let's go to question number two. <clears throat> In your opinion, what is most efficient way? What is the most? ¿verdad? I think uh, mm -hmm. is determine the amount of results and execution times for each activity. That's why uh, avoid uh, overstaffing or understaffing. Yeah, because if no, imagine some people will be working a lot while others will be resting, right? Thank you. Now let's do this one. That sounds like how did you complete that thing? According to the conversation. I the most the most efficient way. The most like the most efficient way. Okay, number two. The best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Organized and on time. <laughs> organized okay nice the best way excellent bye let's move to the chart i want you to look at this chart and think about the rules that we have been discussing today and yesterday right i'm going to give you two minutes to read the information here What, do you have any questions out there? Any questions? Mm -hmm. This is uh, what we have been talking about, right? The rules that we were discussing before. Check the BCS. Sades with double D. 
the fastest eat. Yeah. And with adjectives that have only one syllable, yes, one with the ones that have two or more, we add the most and the other. And what is the case of good and bad? What is the comparative, what is the superlative of good? Hmm? The superlative. Add superlative. Best. 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 Uh -huh. The best. And what is the superlative of bad? Worst. Worse. The worst. Very good. The worst. Uh -huh. Any questions here? <clears throat> no question. No question. No teacher. No teacher. Sure. Perfect. Vaya. In this exercise, what you're going to do is underline word or phrase. See? Underline the word or phrase using the superlative, which is the correct one, right? The correct word or phrase and underline it. Okay, go ahead. Let's do it and then we check. Okay, did you finish? No, finish. We finished it. Okay. Teacher, can I ask you? Mm -hmm. Number two. Don't use the best, sino que the goodest schedule as a reward. Uh -huh. 
What is the it's correct? A... Choose the correct one. Ah, the best. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, you have to choose the correct one. Remember, you'll always have one option that is not correct and one that is correct. You have to choose the best one. A ver, a ver, number two. Don't use the the best or the good schedules as a regard. Hmm? The best. The best. Do not use the best. Good. Jane is fastest. the fastest. The fastest. Uh -huh. Jane is the fastest waiter. Delivery orders are the most popular. Yes, the most popular right now. And number five. So I has the Previous yeah. yeah, the previous decorations. And the kitchen manager works. Works the longest shift. Mm -hmm. The longest. Perfect. The longest shifts. Any questions? No question. Okay, now move here. Check. Which of the strategies do you and your partner consider effective to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? You have one, the schedule to your employees quickly, two, find a method to communicate quickly with employees, three, Take working preferences into account for schedule uh, having your employees strengthen. <coughs> Five, allow your changes in the schedule. Allow four changes in the schedule. Six, prevent absenteeism using phone reminders. Okay. Now. I'm going to give you, let's say, um, about four or five minutes in the groups for you to discuss. I, for you, my cat is crazy here. For you to discuss and choose, right? 
which of these strategies do you and your partner consider effective to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? Gotcha. Bears. Bears, bears, bears. You are 17. ¿Quién anda de oyente? Ah, great. Grace ya llegó. O sigue de oyente. Señorita Grace. No está. Bueno, there you go. Join a room and remember this cause the best strategy. Marita. 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 Try to join. Join, join. Teacher, ya no me salió el mensaje para irme. Karen. Karen o Carla. Karen. Vamos a ver, ya se ve. Disappear. Es que a ver qué le toque. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Después no me sale, teacher. A ver, se volvió a ir. Ok, bueno, vamos a volver a mandar. Cheque hoy. Pues sí. Adriana, no le aparece tampoco. Sí, teacher, ya voy, es que me levanté para ir al baño. Vaya, Carla Lorena, cheque, la acabo de mover, a ver si, si le aparece. Rodrigo. Rodrigo, Rodrigo, Rodrigo. Está trabajando, Rodrigo. Marita. Lorena no le aparece, Carla. Carla Lorena. No está Carla. Yes. No le aparece la invitación a unirse. Sí. Le, le han dado rebota y rebota de grupo en grupo para que me la aparezca. Ahí está. La primera. Uh -huh. Provide the schedule to your employee quickly. Sí, verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if they have the schedule, they know what to do and what time they need to work. Okay. If the children is the accessibility for the for the traffic, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, then the number one, number two, and number four, the number four. election option. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Teacher, which, which, uh, which, which, ay, uh, como se dice, cuántas opciones podemos, which option, to select. Mm, it depends, you can choose at least three. Okay. All right. In this moment, I select the three options. Mm, very good. Y quedaría el da. Mm -hmm. Yes. Vamos a poner que también. Tan, 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 tan. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. And then you explain your reasons, right? I explained the, the option. Yeah. Okay, Elda, you... Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Aquí ya empezó a llover bien fuerte. Oiga. Eso escucho yo y como que estaban aplaudiendo. <risa> Se escucha mi voz. <risa> Un poquito suave, este No sé cómo subirle a esto, sinceramente. Y aquí sí me escucho un poquito más. Yes. Sí. Va. Y que aquí están, fíjese, teacher, que aquí mi vecino es bien carioquero. Y sí, karaokero. Y entonces <laughs> tiene ahí el, su propia celebración. Oh, as today is Friday, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's usual for him to do that. <laughs> Vaya. Okay, which of these strategies do you and your partner consider effective to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? Okay. And to the number one, this is provide the schedule to your employees quickly. Number two, find a method yeah. to communicate quickly with employees. Okay. Number three, Take working preference into account. Take working preference into account. Eso sí no entiendo. Take working preference into account. ¿Cómo lo entiende usted? Take working preference. Que tome en cuenta las preferencias. Por ejemplo, oh. por ejemplo Ana, imagine in your school. If you say, ay no, jefe, a mí no me gusta high school. Yo prefiero trabajar con segundo grado. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Y entonces que tome en cuenta eso. Uh -huh. Ok. Into account. ¿Cómo que oh, account aquí? Tener ¿Cómo en se cuenta. En cuenta. Take work preference into account. Ah, ok. Schedule having your employees straight in mind. Ajá, es así, ¿verdad? Que los empleados tengan en mente su horario. Uh -huh. Una estrategia para 
evitar overstaffing and understaffing. Ajá. La otra, number five, dice allow for change in the schedule. Number six, prevent abstain, abstains using phone reminders. Abstain, abstain. Using Esta la traduje y significa ausentismo. Uh -huh. Absen, uh -huh. Absentismo. Absentismo. Which one of these strategies do you consider that are effective to avoid overstaffing and understaffing, Karen? El nombre es Form. Lo tradujen porque dice Programa de la Fortaleza de su Empleado. Eso que I think es y me tocó, entonces en ese caso me tocó cambiar la actividad que estaba realizando ese día, asignada en ese día, para cumplir eh, eh, lo, lo que necesitaba el proveedor en este caso, llevarse el, el, el eh, ¿cómo se llama? El equipo a reparar allá, porque no lo hacemos nosotros. Entonces me tocó como cambiar esa actividad. Ah, ok. Ajá. Porque me ameritaba en ese momento. Ajá. Sí, algo así entendía yo que, que eso de las preferencias del trabajo como que son cosas que no son usuales, pero de repente se da, se presenta una situación que hay no que dar. No actividades programadas. No actividades programadas. Ajá. Ah, sí, pero Ajá. creo que también sería una importante eso. Sí. How are you doing here? Hi, teacher. Estamos practicando, pero se le presentó. No los oigo. No los... Se, un... se le presentó un inconveniente a Diego. Oh, ¿qué le pasó? <risa> Dijo que ya estaba en la casa, pero tenía que hacer algo porque se iba a casa. ¿Se le metió el agua quizás? Eh, no sé. Pero la cosa es que tenía que ocuparse de algo. <ríe> Porque está lloviendo está. ahorita. It's raining. Sí, aquí. sí, ya está lloviendo también. It's raining. It's raining. But good, because the temperature will, uh, will get better. Hola, José. Perdón, ya estoy aquí. Sorry, sorry. Hola, Diego. Es que se, la lluvia de manera fuerte y de la nada. Sí. Tenía que ir a meter unas cosas. Ok. Sigamos, eh, José. Ah, eh, estamos aquí eh, terminar de sacar de la duda. No, El ejercicio consiste en discutir los puntos. Te escucho bien lejos. Uy, es por lo mismo de la lluvia, creo. Ah, ok, ok. Este, discutir los puntos y seleccionar cuáles son los más convenientes para evitar el exceso y la falta de personal. Ok. Number one, provide the schedule. Uh, provide is Proveer, ¿verdad? Sí, provide. Yes. Provide, proveer. I think the number one uh, is about the overstaffing, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that number one, two, and I can hear you. I 
Pat. Se le escucha como cortado, Diego. Ok. Yo no le logro escuchar muy fuerte, le escucho súper lejos. <ríe> Créanme que estoy casi pegado al teléfono. <ríe> ok. Es el trío. Number two. Find a method of to communicate quickly with employees. Find, find a method to communicate with employees. Number two. Bien sorprendida de cómo está de modernizado todo. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. You finish? Yes, teacher. Mm, yes, teacher. Está lloviendo ahí en San Miguel ahorita, ¿no? Eh, San Miguel, ¿quién está en San Miguel? El El Sí. Aquí tenemos una sema dos semanas que no llueve. Tenemos hace parte no? el agua. Que no llueve. Ah, ahorita aquí está lloviendo fuerte en San Salvador. No, y el calor está insoportable. Y ahí en San Miguel, ¿por qué sector vive usted? Vivo eh, en el, por las faldas del volcán Chaparrasco. De verdad. Sí. Uh, es bonito por ahí, pero bien me imagino bonito. que cuando hay movimiento en el volcán han, han de sentir bien feo. Dice que sí se siente. Entonces los temblorcitos de repente. <risa> bonito San Miguel. Sí, ahorita está bien bonita. San Miguel en los alrededores, en la ciudad, está bien bonita. Solo que el tráfico sí está ahí. Ahorita answering the, the, the question. Yes. Me lo llevo. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Coming. It's raining hard here in San Salvador. Raining, raining, raining. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, everybody coming. I want to listen to a couple of volunteers. Volunteers, victims. Volunteers, volunteers, volunteers. Aja, Nubia. <laughs> uh, <laughs> our group um i decide uh, this strategy all are important uh -huh. uh, we consider that our expertise casi no le oí en nubia y ahora, teacher. Okay. Uh, cons the, we consider that all the strategies are important. Uh -huh. But you had to choose some. Which did you choose? Will you allow just in the schedule? What teacher? Number five, allow for changes in the schedule. Yes, because 
our situation for the employees are um, enfermos. Uh -huh. Is the, um, the company uh, uh, necesita uh, change the need the uh, she uh, changed the employees for the uh, enfermo. who is sick. Uh -huh. Yes. But, but if somebody is sick, you don't change the person's schedule, you substitute the person. Yes. Right. Yes. But uh, uh, are important because uh, depend the work. Uh, the company needs the uh, more employees for more uh, work and needs the uh, change uh, schedule. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Any other option that you have chosen? Vamos a ver, Rosy. Um, bueno, no sé si Nubia tenía otro escogido. And then we will listen to Rosie after Nubia. Uh -huh, Nubia. In, in my group? Yeah. Or another group? No, in your group. Uh, El, Elmer? Hi, can you hear me? Uh-huh. We consider uh, the all options are important in the uh, in the company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think about number six? Prevent absenteeism using phone reminders. Would you like to be, uh, would you like to have your boss writing to you saying, uh, Elmer, remember that you have a, a chief tomorrow morning? Um, would you like to have that? In a moment, but and my, my boss, to call me uh -huh. and to say and he me communica no sé communicate no but but the, oh, okay but when it says phone reminders means uh, somebody reminding you telling you listen you have a chief tomorrow you have a chief next next Friday. Don't forget that you have to be here at 3 p.m. So would you like to have that? Reminder every single time you have something to do? No, don't like this. No. It's uncomfortable, right? And in a moment, it could be also stressing. The, the ocean, um, sería como la menos importante. Sí, menos. The less, the least, the least, the least important. important in all ocean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Elmer. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. let's listen to Rosy. A ver, Rosy. Okay, teacher. Carla and me consider a two, only two a strategy effective to avoid overstaffing and understaffing. And number one, provide the schedule to your employees quickly. And number two, find a method to communicate quickly with employees. Only. Only. Okay. So if they know they can make changes in their other responsibilities, right? 
Okay. Only, in this case, only. In that case? In that case, only if a permission mm -hmm. with con anticipation, teacher? With anticipation. With anticipation. Mm -hmm. For example, in my case, uh, when I, I received my schedule, then I, when I was studying right at the university, I register my subjects respecting my schedule at work first. Just there were a couple of subjects where there was nothing to do. And, and there was a moment when I had to stop working Saturday morning to put one subject Saturday. And then I had to stop the whole Saturday because there was no way. <coughs> and I had to, to, to finish my career. So I stopped work, I stopped working the whole Saturday because I was going to, to take four, I think I was taking four subjects. So I had to put two during the week two on Saturday and one practice. So that took me the whole thing, the whole week and the whole Saturday. <laughs> yeah, so, but yeah, when you have the schedule quickly, you give the schedule quickly to your employees, they can make all the necessary adaptations to respect it, right? And also when you communicate quickly too. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, I have, oh, we have time, we have time. So let's move here. Putting into practice what we have been learning today. A check, who is that? And you have to decide how to complete the sentence. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to do it. And then we check. Ya no los mando a los rooms. Nos vamos a quedar trabajando solitos. What page, teacher? No, this is not in the book. This is not in the manual. Okay. That's the extra practice about superlatives. Number one teacher mm -hmm. is how is the tire tire who is there? Huh? Ahí en, en sería en, en de agregarle la, la ER. Comparativo superlativo, Oscar. Eh, superlativo. Ajá, exactly, es a superlativo. Uh -huh. Who is the tallest person in your family? Because it says in your family. We're not saying who is taller, María o you, right? So it's in the, in the, in the family. Who is the tallest? Who's the tallest? Number, Number two. The Maria. best. The best. The best. Can you hear me, teacher? The best? Sí, the best. Yeah. Okay. My mom is the best cook in the world. Yeah, my mom was the best cook in the world. Yeah, the most cool. Yeah, I remember she used to make tortitas de mora and they were. Bueno, even fried egg that she did was the best fried egg that you could try. I don't know, it was something in her hands that made food 
Okay. No sería better en el good. ¿Por qué better? Porque te, eh, hay, bueno, hay una regla que el good se cambia, se pone better. Sí. Dice bueno es más bueno. Uh -huh. Pero es B-E-T-T-E-R. Ajá. Pero. 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 Esa fue, fue mi duda. Que ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? E -S -T. Ok. Remember at the beginning I shared with you the comparative and the superlative of each of the adjectives, right? Mm. Do you remember when you use comparatives? ¿Qué compara en el comparativo, eh, Oscar? Um, que son más. En el comparativo, you compare one con ¿Sí? Ajá, uno. Pero ahí yo no estoy comparando mi mamá con la mamá de otro. Estoy comparando mi mamá con todas las mamás del mundo. That's why I need a super. Oh. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful with what are you comparing the person with? One one or with all the rest of the people? If you compare the person or the object or the thing with just one, that's compare. But if you compare it with many others, that would be superlative. Okay. What about number three? December? The most cold. It's the coldest. It's the coldest. Yeah. It's the coldest. December is the coldest month of the year. What is that? Most dangerous. Most dangerous. Very good. What about Ethan? Ethan? The happiest. Yes, the happiest. Ethan is the happiest boy that I know. What about the next one? Where are the? Where are they? What is this, the superlative for nice? Nicest? Nice. Mm -hmm. The most. As it already finishes in E, we are on ESP. Like the nicest fishes in the world. She bought the biggest, the biggest with double G. <laughs> the biggest cake in the shop. And the next one, who is the famous? Most famous. The most famous. Very good. Thank you, Elda. Who's the most famous? Okay, any question there? Okay. 
No question. No, teacher. Thank you. Nice. Nice, nice. Tenía un extra, vamos a ver. Por si nos daba más tiempo, pero creo que ya no. It's about time. It's about time. So I'm going to call attendance. Porque yo sé que los viernes ustedes están así que ya, 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 que acabe, que acabe, que acabe, que acabe. <ríe> Ok, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Carlos. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. No está Edwin. Present teacher. Ajá, me había perdido. Ed, Edwin. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer. Elmer Fabricio. Mish. El mayor Fabricio. No. Gema. Gema, Gema. Jessica Lisset. Jessica. Se nos perdió Jessica. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Dayanara. No. Nubia. Oscar. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Rodrigo. Oscar le toca quedarse. Present, present, Mr. Okay. okay. Ana Miguel. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. Present. Uh, Carolina. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Sorry, I was right. busy this day, but I did not don't did not want to be disconnected from the class. Okay, Grace. Rosailda. Present teacher. And this one, which I'm here. Okay, I start. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't hear. Quien, quien? Elmer, Elmer. Elmer, Fabricio. Me de él, da lo chame. Me escuché, teacher. De verdad, vaya, pues aquí está. Elda Cristina y después Elmer Fabio. Bueno, enjoy your weekend. Duerman mucho. Duerman. Los que pueden dormir. <laughs> Good yes. night. Happy weekend. Yes. You are working, you. Rodrigo. Don't sleep. <laughs> I, drank, I drank the coffee. You're working, si no, you drink coffee, don't sleep. Okay. <laughs> the teacher me dijo que me durmiera, le voy a decir al jefe. 
Ah, ya, sí. Ok, bueno, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. No tomorrow, Bye. the Monday. Tomorrow. <laughs> Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Night. Oh, good night. Good night. Good night. Hi, Oscar. Hola. Hi. Ya. Dígame, ¿le quedó alguna duda de la clase de hoy? Uh, eh, bueno, sí, porque fíjese que estuve... Uh, como había dejado de, de tarea eso, de, la, de las... ¿Cómo se llama? Para ti, si las reglas de los comparativos. Ajá. Entonces, estaba viendo yo que en las palabras que terminan en, en T o como paz, tor, small, con read, en los adjetivos le agrega la ER. Sí, pero en comparativo. Y ahorita estamos hablando de superlativo. Ajá, entonces acuérdese, vamos a, vámonos a los inicios. Acuérdese de las reglas que les sí. compartía. Vaya, esto es comparativo. En el comparativo usted compara uno con uno, un gato con otro gato, ¿verdad? Mm. Eh, una persona con otra persona, un edificio con otro edificio. Un objeto con otro objeto, uno, uno. Pero en el superlativo usted me compara un objeto sí. contra dos objetos, tres, cuatro, uh, o muchos más. Por eso le decía yo en los ejemplos, por ejemplo, decía in your house, in the country. Entonces, cuando usted dice in the country, ya está comparando uno contra muchos más que hay en el país. O in the family, uno. uno. O muchos. Todos los de la familia. Ajá, entonces ese es el superlativo. Mientras que el comparativo no, usted compara uno contra uno. Contra uno. Por ejemplo, I have two cats. One is bigger than the other. The white cat is bigger than the gray cat. ¿Sí? Como solo sí. tengo dos gatos, yo puedo usar comparativo, pero no puedo usar superlativo porque solo tengo dos. Pero si yo comparo a mi gatita blanca con todos los gatos del pasaje de la colonia, yo, para mí, ¿verdad? Porque el otro dueño va a decir que el suyo es el más bonito. Entonces yo puedo decir, my cat is the most beautiful in the neighborhood. Porque ya estoy comparando mi gato contra todos los demás del vecindario. Ajá, ya no solamente con, contra la hermanita que tiene acá. Vaya, sí. mira. Bueno, cuando un adjective termina en IR, este es el comparativo, pero también tenemos el superlativo. Y lo mismo, ¿verdad? Lo mismo. Sí. Bueno, cuando tenemos adjetivos largos, More para el comparative y most for the superlative. Igual, yo estoy comparando aquí con este superlativo. Uno contra dos, tres, cuatro. Uh, mm -hmm. many. Y en el superlativo solo comparo uno contra. ¿Sí? Then you say, eh, Pedrito is happier than Tom. Tiene a Pedrito acá y a Tom acá. Pedro. Sí. Is happier than Tom. Pero si usted ya quiere comparar a Pedrito contra todos los niños del grado, va a decir Pedrito. Uy, mouse, ¿qué os hiciste? Pedrito is the happiest in the class. Porque uh -huh. para Pedrito ya no solo para Juan, sino contra okay. todos los niños del aula. Sí, correcto. <coughs> Esa era mi. Porque era mi duda que yo me había quedado así. Que por... Ajá, es que usted no, no, 
estuvo revisando, quizás solo vio los comparativos. Sí, cabal, ¿Sí? solo comparativos. Pero allí también están los superlativos. Y fíjense que las reglas son las mismas. Y vaya. Si a los adjetivos largos le pone more para el comparativo, mos para el superlativo. A los que tienen en Y le cambia la Y a I latina y después le agrega R. En el superlativo, sí. igual, le cambia la Y a I latina y después le agrega IST. Uh -huh. Entonces, las reglas son las mismas, ¿verdad? La diferencia que IR para el comparativo y ST para el superlativo. Yes. O, oh, okay. por si es largo, ¿verdad? Estos son los que tienen más de dos eh, sílabas. Y por tanto, ex, a ver, expensive. Expensive tiene tres sílabas. Aunque se vea como que dice expensive, pero usted va a decir sí. expensive. Y yo le voy a dar una, una sugerencia, este, Oscar. Allí. Sí. Fíjense que en el manual ustedes tienen bastantes links que pueden accesar para que pueda hacer audio, ¿verdad? Y para practicar pronunciación. Además, por ejemplo, cuando usted se encuentre una palabra que no sabe cómo se, escribe, cómo se pronuncia, la puede escribir en el, búsquese un diccionario, pero no el Google Translate, oye. Yo la vez ah. les compartí un Cambridge, si no me equivoco, y otro sí. diccionario ahí en, en el chat. Entonces, si usted se mete al diccionario Cambridge, va a ver que le da la pronunciación en inglés británico y en inglés americano. El que nosotros utilizamos es inglés americano. Entonces, métase, ¿verdad? Escribe la palabra y Escúchela cómo se pronuncia para que así se le vaya quedando la pronunciación. Porque okay. el inglés no se pronuncia como se escribe. Sí, no se pronuncia como se escribe. Uh -huh. <ríe> sí. 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 La que le estaba dando Rosy está muy buena. Ocupe un lapicero de un color diferente. Yo... Sí, fíjese que yo cuando estaba empezando a querer aprender francés, lo que hacía era escribir la palabra nueva, con un color le escribía el significado y con otro le escribía la pronunciación. Entonces, eso le ayuda a ir eh, aprendiéndose el vocabulario, sabiendo cómo se pronuncia y qué significa para poderlo poner en uso, ¿verdad? Esa sería sí. una, una clue que yo le puedo dar, a mí me funcionó, ¿verdad? A mí sí. me... Porque le facilita, entonces cuando usted ocupa colores, eh, siempre ocupa el mismo color para pronunciación y el mismo color para significar, para que no tenga lugar a confusión después, ¿verdad? Y eso le va <coughs> Ayudar bastante. Ayudar un montón, sí. No sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta ahí. No, tiche. Solo esa era mi duda, que espero que estaba ahí, que yo que... Ah, ¿por qué? ¿Y por qué? Sí, sí pero... Estaba... Sí, solo una parte había visto como... Ajá, se lo había visto el comparativo. Entonces, sí. Cuando usted tenga duda, pregunte. ¿Verdad? Okay. Sí, está bien. no entendió a que se quede usted con su duda eso no se hace verdad Así Ajá. Que cuando tenga alguna duda está bueno pregunte verdad y ahí se le saca de lado está vaya ese es correcto okay. si sí, YouTube ah, no, eso sería no, 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 no. mi duda <ríe> y yo si sí, YouTube no, no, no. See you tomorrow. Nah, see you. Okay. See you. Monday, have a nice, <laughs> a nice weekend. Have a nice. Que ya viene Hasta la el lunes. Regreso, sí. Ya viene bastante. <clears throat> Happy weekend. Thank you. Have a nice Bye. night. Bye-bye. Have a nice. Take care. Bye.